Okay. What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, United Me Random. And um, I'm like up, like the earliest I've ever been up in this country. I got up about like six, six, I want to say 654 because I wanted to do like a like exact number and um, I'm out 654 a.m. at a park right now and you might be asking Aaliyah why are you at a park well I well a little while ago I did like a little street interview with a group okay and I posted it on my page like to show you guys um, the the street interview I didn't promote it too much because it does say where I am like it says where I am and I kind of got to this point where I'm just like okay well I'm giving up on not letting you guys know where I am but I'm still gonna make like a video like hey you guys this is where I've been okay this is not that video this is not that video, but this is all to say, I met some people who have been doing like YouTube and they've been making content while they're overseas. And I was like, wow, that's awesome because it was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Okay, so you know, I'm a tarot girly. And one of the tarot girlies that I watched was talking about, oh, you're gonna meet some people and do a collab with them. And I was like, do a collab with them? Okay, where am I gonna meet people to do a collab with overseas? And then the next day, I literally ran into them at a comedy show. Um, and I think they're like, I'm not like, they're not trying to pressure me or anything, but there's some conversation about me doing stand-up comedy. And I just gotta say, oh well, oh well, I don't think I'm that funny. However, that's a conversation to be had. Like I'm inching towards it because why not? I told Stu, oh yeah, they were talking to me about like doing some like stand up comedy and st stuff. And Stu's response was, you know, they say stand up comedy is like one of the hardest careers to actually do. I was like, that's no positivity. That's no, you can do it. That's no, oh, do you think I could be funny or nothing? That's just like, mm, okay, what's well, a hard career to get into? Like, sir, I'm not trying to make it a career, but to stand up on a stage and make a joke, you know, and people possibly laugh is more than me never standing up on a stage. So that's where my mindset has been. Um, so I'm out here getting ready. I'm supposed to be meeting everyone at nine. I just walked up a lot of stairs and I've become very aware that my skirt is short. Like, I don't know if I can show you like how short it is. Let me see. You sit right here. You sit right here. Is that short? Cause it feels short. It feels short, you know? Like when I'm walking, I'm like, ooh. I guess it's not that short. Your girl has long legs. So I guess, I guess it's not that short, but it feels really short. Now I'm gonna try to keep staying on this side because there are some people doing like Tai Chi and exercising and like everyone, like this is a very habited, 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 habitated park. Like it's beautiful, but like, I don't think I see parks like this in America. And that's one thing I can say, like the old people, they get out. They get out, they walk around, they stay healthy. <sighs> Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me unless I was living overseas. Cause like, this is a lot. I was walking up those stairs and I was like, <gasps> this is kinda, this is kinda much. And you know, a girl still has to go to work later on today. So we'll get to it when we get to it. But uh, yeah, I told myself I'm gonna stop hanging out with the foreigner group and I'm gonna start focusing on like things that make me happy and things that can better me. And so I'm gonna stop going out clubbing just to go out clubbing and I'm instead going to use that time to go to the comedy club. Because if I go to the comedy club, I can like build up my confidence to one day stand on that stage. And so I guess that's the goal. Maybe I'll just start doing like like little comedy sketches. Just like, oh yeah, if I was doing stand-up comedy, this would be a show. Like just a fake show for you guys. And you guys tell me what you think of my stand-up comedy. Cause, you know what I mean? Like, 
But anyway, I'm supposed to be meeting up with everyone, so I need to go find out the area I'm supposed to meet them. I'm sticky and uncomfortable, um, but you know, that is life. That is life. Also, I'm being watched, but I'm, you know, I'm black, so. Uh, hello, babies. I am now currently walking my way on out of the park. Like earlier, there were so many like older people like exercising and dancing. And again, I said like any. It's always been something similar. Um, people getting up, moving, being very active. And I've noticed that I need to go this way. I've noticed that about Korea and also the country that I'm in right now. Now, here's the thing. Um, I did a video podcast with a group and I enjoy doing it and you know I kind of got to this point where I'm just like I'm gonna be open about what country I'm in and just be open and honest because like at this point it is what it is but they did something that I didn't necessarily expect and they were like oh yeah um, pretty much say your YouTube channel <laughs> And I know I was getting ready to the point where I could like be open about with you guys about being in the country that I'm in. But now if we're open about like my YouTube channel, like we're open about like where other people can find me. And there's this worry a little bit. Not like I'm like really worried because it was gonna happen. It was legit gonna happen. A girl can't keep her mouth shut. But there's this worry that now I'm going to be tied back to YouTube. I'm going to be tied back to YouTube. And for those who have been here with me as the channel has grown, you already know, look at that, beautiful. You already know where this channel started. Like, <laughs> you know, you already know the beginnings of this channel. So, all these damn stairs. So it's like, okay, do I go through and delete all of my old videos or do I just own up to it? If it becomes a problem, it's a problem. It is me, realistically it's me. It was me when I got hired, it's always been me. Will I regret like the trouble that might come from being myself? You know, there's not a lot of things that I regret in life, but I think that this is one of those things that if I grow to regret, you know, I did it, you know? At the very least, you know, that is a version of me. And I can't be ashamed of who I am or who I used to be because I'm still growing in a way. There's a little bit of anxiety. Like realistically, it could go nowhere. No one could uh, go to my YouTube channel. The information wouldn't be out. It wouldn't be a part of who I am like online, but it could. And that's the reality. I think that in a more conservative nature, like being overseas, a more conservative area, it has more of the ability to become a problem than it is to become like a thing where it's just like, oh yeah, we celebrate your individuality. But also I found like in this country, I found people who like upset me for me as well. So it's just like, can I be accepted for me? Like. I'm kind of bad though, but I'm not a horrible person. So, you know, it's so sunny. Again, this is like the earliest I've ever been out and I had fun. We talked about civilization today. Not even like civilization, but what does it mean to be civilized? And um, it's definitely me. It's definitely me. It's just the being stared at right now. <laughs> just, definitely me I'm that girl I'm the Beyonce especially with a camera in my hand like they're like wow where's she going what's she talking about what is she doing um, if they're in the camera when I walk this way you know it's kind of it's kind of on them like because I'm very openly <laughs> with the camera you know I try not to have like people in my background but you know if you gonna follow me baby you gotta be prepared I've seen so many dragonflies today. Oh, it's a bird. But I've seen so many like dragonflies today. Like I feel like, I don't know. I'm gonna look up the meaning of dragonflies. Like what meaning does this dragonfly hold? Like, is it the universe saying, girl, you'll be fine. 
Because, like, again, I know the whole thing of why worry? Why worry when you don't have to? And I agree. Why worry when you don't have to? If I don't have to worry, why worry? However, the reality is I still worry. So trying to remain positive and all of that jazz, not really having too good of a time with the remaining positive, but yeah, I'll learn it one day. But um, I'm really happy that I got up and got out. Don't regret that. Don't regret my channel. Don't regret where I've been. Don't regret where I come from. It's just me, right? And like, I don't know. I guess there is like a little worry of like how people will perceive me, but then I've never quite been perceived as this like really great person anyway. And I don't have anyone to disappoint. The main thing I have to do is keep a roof over my head and food in my belly. And other than that, I'm good, right? So then what is there to really be worried about? Well, I've gotten to the front pretty much of this park, which also has like some type of theme park right next to it, I don't know. Um, and I'm also a little bit out of breath. And my legs are sore. You know, I've been going to the gym lately if nothing else, I'm gonna finish this year strong and we'll see what happens in the future. Bye-bye. Oh, also much love and positive vibes.